Here I am inside a Motel 6 getting ready to go see some of my friends uh, that I met on YouTube. I'm so grateful for the worldwide friendship and brotherhood that we have in Christ. People from all over the world are connecting through the blood of Jesus and it's an amazing tool that we have on the internet. So I'm going to Cincinnati to meet a couple brothers that I've met on YouTube. We're going to get together and uh, fellowship and have a Bible study and encourage the weaker brothers who are new in Christ. We're going to have some dinner. We might even do some street preaching. Who knows? If the rain lets up, I would love to do that in Cincinnati. And we're going to praise God every step of the way. If there's any of you out there right now who would love to connect and fellowship and Bible study, let me know. We'll pray about it according to God's will and we'll see what the Lord has in store. Right now, we need to get together. If it not be on the internet, be in a house or be in a church, we need to bond together. Right now is the most critical time in history for Christians in America. The time of persecutions is coming. The time of great deception is coming here. We have to know and love the truth. We have to support one another. We have to encourage each other, build each other up in courage and grace and endurance and faith. America is about to fall into tyranny. The one world government and the antichrist system is at hand. That means the great persecutions of the church are very, very soon. Are you ready to go through what our brothers all around the world have been suffering for the name of Jesus Christ? Are you ready? Do you have the kind of faith that will endure the fiery trials that is inevitably coming to every single one of us here in the free world? Brothers and sisters, I pray that you examine your heart very, very carefully and understand that the biblical prophecies of the last days are unfolding right now, right here, in our day, in our generation, and you must be aware of this. So that's what we're getting together to do, to fellowship, to grow, to increase, and to support one another in the body of Christ. So if God would open up some doors for me to go visit you in your town and encourage you to go out and uh, street preach, hold signs, uh, get bold for Jesus, then I would be open and willing to do that. I ask the Lord to continue to use me to influence and encourage and build up and increase all of you out there. If your faith is weak or if you are shy and you're looking forward to increasing with the Lord, I encourage you to get a hold of me and pray with me. And if there's a way that I can come see you and help you, I would be willing to do that if God willing. So keep that in mind and God bless you guys. And let's continue to support each other and pray for one another and love each other and always give God glory and magnify his name. Amen. God bless you guys. told us to move down this building. They told us we couldn't stand on the block up here, so we had to get down on the sidewalk. We get heckled a lot. Jesus commanded two things, love God and love your neighbor. And we have to go out there and we have to show love. That's the gospel, loving them in truth and warning them. If we're saved, what are we saved from? Jesus saves us from hell. Hell is real. You don't want to go there. Jesus saves you from hell.
We love this people, game. sir. And we still love this guy. Yeah. We love you. Jesus does too. Jesus. He's the only He's way. He's the only one way to God. of this world for those who don't repent. We love you and we want you to enter into the kingdom with us. It's not a joke. People blow this off. We go about our lives.